Meet Ed Silverlux. He suffers from radiophobia, so he jumps into a hazmat suit and fears for his life every time he hears about radioactivity. All he knows about it is learned from PC games and Hollywood movies. Meet his opposite. This girl has studied radioactivity and unlike it, she doesn't fear low levels of radioactivity. She even has traveled to Chernobyl to learn and investigate. Like a boss. I don't know her real name, but let's just call her Doris Biosongen. Yeah. Yes, Ed. In really high doses, radioactivity can kill you. We have all been taught that. But did you know that it also can kill cancer? This is called radiotherapy and has saved many lives. And speaking of saving lives, so many people have been saved by smoke detectors with a tiny amount of radioactive americium. I sure count on them to wake me up if my bed is on fire. Oh, not again. Why does my bed always catch on fire? Radioactivity can also simply be a thing of beauty. Look at this uranium dope glassware. They sure attract people like insects around a light bulb. The camera can't really pick up the true beauty of this glow. Radioactivity is always linked to extreme disasters like Chernobyl and Fukushima that shows the limitations of mankind. But radioactivity is also a natural thing that always has been a part of our universe. And in the tiny doses shown in this video, the risk is undetectable low. I guess all I'm trying to say is, radioactivity, it's not all bad. Bye bye, thanks for watching.